commercial for Expendables. We had Randy Couture and uh, Terry Crew. Terry Crew. Crews in yesterday. The movie looks fucking good. Yeah. I was saying those movies where they put everyone together usually don't do well, but it fucking looks good, man. Stone Cold's going to take it to the next level. No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> to the next level. What is the next level? I'm saying he's the one that's going to carry this movie. <laughs> oh, carry it? Yeah. yeah. Good for him. He has charisma. Yeah. Yeah, he's charisma. stunning people all over the place. Yeah? Yeah. You, you think there'll be some wrestling moves? Just stunning and flipping people off. and I, I, You know, there are movies like They Live, which I liked. Yeah, with Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And um, I, I just, it takes me out of it when they... When they have to do the suplex, <laughs> yes. you know, when when they're doing their 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 moves, the wrestling moves, I'm like, I... that was the one thing that took me out of They Live. Like, I was just like, saying that. Yeah, that, that was epic. what I was, the oh, I was talking about. They Live. No, no, but no, I I know you were you know doing internet stuff. That's fine. But the thing is, that movie is the one in particular that took me out of it because, like, Roddy Roddy was doing a good job as just the working Joe kind of fucking shit, and, the, and, and shit's going down, and and then he gets in a fight. And and he's doing his wrestling moves. Are you yeah, saying it was, he had, a, it was a good fight? And then all of yeah, a sudden, out of nowhere, fight. out of nowhere, Piper's like, "All right, now it's time for a, a, a belly to back suplex." And it's <laughs> yeah, like, "Come no, on, man. Man. Oh, you know man. Man. He knows the effective moves." It was that was a long fight too. It was, it was good. They just kept yeah. getting up and beating the piss out of each other. Was Hulk Hogan did the leg drop and yeah, what movie oh, was he in? God, of Santa with muscles. Huh? He was in the film Santa with Muscles. What? <laughs> what? No, he wasn't. It didn't go anywhere. But no, he, he wasn't. He I'm made really a film surprised called... that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's not a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Santa with Muscles? Is or... that Keith David or David Keith? Keith David is uh, black. <laughs> David Keith is white. <laughs> okay. I always get them confused. I always think Keith Robinson and Keith David. Oh, okay. That'll Mr. Work. Nanny used to be a wrestler before he got to be the nanny. <sighs> well, that's a hell of a fucking... We got us a crusade. up. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. See, this is a great fight. You should lock him in the sleeper and put him out once and for all. No, we can't put him in the sleeper. He's not a wrestler. The best was when South Park, uh, they, they redid this entire fight scene. Fuck it, like punch for punch. It was perfect with uh, with uh, Timmy. <laughs> or no, it was Jimmy. Jimmy was fighting. Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> this is uh, They Live. They Live. You yeah. never saw this? The 1988 oh, cult fun. John Carpenter classic. You know how annoying it must be to fucking have this fight in this disgusting, dirty alley? <laughs> you don't think you'd like doing that with garbage juice? Flowing in the uh, you're hoping that alley. they made it dirty and that it's not really okay. garbage juice. Every I time you, you think this fight is over, they just keep beating the fuck out of each other. Just real quick, so you won't put those fucking glasses on. <laughs> the one thing that always bugged me about this fight scene was that after hey, Keith David gives Ra Rowdy Piper his paycheck, you know, to you know to help him out, he got he goes to walk away out of the alley. But during the fight scene, the rear windshield breaks out of a car, and he pretends and he gets all mad like it was his car. Right? Yeah, yeah. So why was he walking away from his car if he was leaving? Very good. Never realized <laughs> it that. It always pisses me off. Little film flub. I, <laughs> I can't get through this fight scene without thinking about it. Big fan of the film flubs. Where's the suplex? It's coming. <laughs> it's, it's like a six-minute fight scene. No, it's retarded. It's crazy. No. Oh. Oh, I've been who who the is face. this guy? The white guy? That's the Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper. Yeah. The hot rod. The hot rod. That's right. The hot rod. Yeah, Piper's pit, motherfucker. That's right. I think it might be now. I, maybe. He should hit him. Comes in, up from behind. Hit him in the head with yeah, a coconut. Comes up from behind him and gives him the belly to back suplex. Maybe. <laughs> Why didn't he turn around when he was running? <laughs> yeah, I, I, the scream gave it away that he was running. <laughs> here, here. Oh, Adam. Yeah, there I think it's it coming up. <laughs> oh, uh. Rowdy Rowdy sells it, though. Well, oh, he knows how to yeah, sell yeah, Here you go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's a wrestling move. Oh, no, that's a move. Do that. Right then, I'm like, come on. Oh, come now. on. That's not, that's, not a, that's not a belly to back suplex. That's no, a side it. suplex. Uh, it probably wasn't even in the script. And I'm like, Rod, Roddy <laughs> Piper's probably all talking to the fight coordinator, like trying to like fit yeah. in his stuff. Like, no, you, you could really do that in a fight. You know, I'm like, okay, Piper, okay. Oh, that's that's suplex. Yeah. You can do it. He didn't have to do that. The fight stands on its own. Look, they're gouging each other's eyes out. He got him on the ground, though, side suplex on the concrete. <laughs> Fight goes on forever. Oh, now huh? Keith David just pounding Rowdy Roddy in the balls with his knee. See, there's not a guy oh, alive. That was Terry Crews. <laughs> there's not a guy alive yeah. that would come up from that. No, you, no, you no. can't stand up. The after kick that, and the nut recovery in the movies is ridiculous. Yeah, because totally Keith ridiculous. David gets mad about his car. Yeah, yeah. He's, How do you he's swinging a two by four at him? How can Hacksaw you? Jim Duggan. When you have a two by four, you hit every fucking time. <laughs> you can't miss. Well, this guy's missed four times already with the two-by-four. 
And now he's pissed that he fucked up his but really his bad car. car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of junk to begin with. They're construction workers. Yeah, they're just uh, they're, they're, working, they're working jokes. They're regular working jokes. Regular is, this, jokes. is this supposed to be like a joke? How they're fighting for so long? Uh, I think you kind of do take it with a grain of salt that two guys cannot possibly nope. beat the fuck out of each other this long. He almost Another had a wrestling move. That's a wrestling move. Looks like he's trying to set up the bulldog in a reversal. <laughs> You're an asshole. And that's what it looked like. <laughs> is that what it looked like to me? How did the bulldog die? British Bulldog? Is he dead too? Yeah, he's yeah. Dead, his heart gave out on him. He was oh, in his 40s. Good. Oh, that's good. Maybe he was just figuring it or car. literally. Fuck you. Oh, oh, oh wow. He's that's not, not putting nice. the glasses on. The Why really you know? cheap sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I met Keith David at one of the monster uh, uh, convention Ooh. things. He's the ashiest man alive. <laughs> Is he really <laughs> ashy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like fucking like, corpse fingers. I, I didn't want to touch him. Oh shit! <laughs> he he lives. And that's the fight. No. <laughs> what? I think Rowdy Roddy comes back over and hits him again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, it it goes on forever. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah! That's there a wrestling is. move. No, beautiful you can't do on that. the ground. Did a, you see that he move? He broke him in half. Not only was that a wrestling move, that was a finishing move, Anthony. <laughs> Stick a fork in him, folks. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to put the glasses on? Because you see with the glasses, you can see what these fucking aliens have, have wrought upon the earth. What are you talking you about? You just kind of live. It's like the Matrix almost. You kind of live your life and shit is going on. But then with the glasses, you can see, you can the, see reality. The aliens look fucked up and there's subliminal messages everywhere. And fucking little spaceshipy With things. only one pair of glasses? No, there's, a, there's an underground that are putting out a fuckload of glasses and trying to get them out to people so they will know the truth. Hey, the movie's great. That's probably yeah, it's really is a cool movie. That's probably some John kind Carpenter. of a statement on society. <laughs> where society. If you put on the glasses and open your eyes, you yes. can see what we've become, oh, man. Man. <laughs> to put the glasses on, man. Yeah, they got the big obey and consume signs and, you know, just That's reproduce. advertising. Exactly. That's just advertising, man. And do you remember the dialogue from the movie? Because Kevin from Connecticut writes, one of the best lines from, um, oh, from from a movie. What movie oh, is this from? From that movie, I'm uh, I'm here. I came here to, to kick ass yes, and chew bubble, bubble gum, gum and, and I'm all out of bubble gum. How corny right. is that, though? It's so obvious that it's just some really basic message about uh, about advertising and how we're all sheep and we just do what we're told. It's like, what are we supposed to do? There was a good fight and fucking. <laughs> no, but I mean, you're not supposed to sleep and wake up. And... I don't mind that, but why do they have to give us the obvious message? Well, look Sean. at the message. Work eight hours, sleep eight hours, play eight hours. Submit, Consume, watch TV, buy. Perform, watch TV. But yeah. they're aliens. But that's what we're supposed to do anyway. Look, man. Yeah. Says who, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and to Blade too, they do wrestling moves. Is that true? Oh, is that the one that Triple H was Triple in? Triple H is in, yeah. And Triple H has to do fucking wrestling now I'm moves. I'm obsessed with wrestling moves. Anytime a wrestler's in a fucking movie, I, we get it. You were a wrestler. We know who you are. Even The Rock, I think. When he was in the Scorpion King, I'm sure. What about when Suburban Commando, played by Hulk Hogan, oh, no. had to fight the bounty hunter, played by The Undertaker? <laughs> no. Yeah. Intergalactic bounty hunter. How did I miss that movie? Christopher Lloyd's in it. Wow. Yeah. One of your favorites. Can you do a wrestling move? <laughs> hey, can we see Santa with muscles? I was just going to ask Santa that. with muscles. I'm obsessed with Santa with muscles now. Yuck. Have you ever the seen... The Hulk Hogan vehicle. The rock <laughs> vehicle. I love it. <laughs> Hitting a buttment. <laughs> I love when they call it a vehicle for somebody. Vehicle. Have you ever seen the Rowdy Roddy Piper movie Body Slam starring Roddy Piper and the Tonga Kid? I don't Did think I like saw it? that one. It was good. No, How about... Santa um, with muscles. Look at Santa with How muscles. How Spider-Man? Spider-Man featuring Bonesaw, a.k.a. Bonesaw. Macho Man macho Randy Man, Savage. Randy Savage. I think that's the last public appearance of the Macho Man, too. Couldn't even tell it was a Macho Man. What happened to the Macho Man? His macho Man shit on. Right. What happened to him? He's just a grumpy Gus. He just doesn't leave his house. <laughs> grumpy Gus. <laughs> yeah. Gus, what the you fuck? You didn't just say that. You know Sam's mother would say that when Sam was <laughs> yes. fidgety and didn't want to eat? Don't be a grumpy Gus, Sam. Now, don't you be a grumpy Whoa. Gus now. That, that's what the Macho Man yeah. looks like now? Oh, yeah. I went to a... Uh, wow, Google image the Macho Man. That's, I went to... That's really him? Yeah, he just got married. I went to a wrestling convention uh, and talked to some fans that found his house and went to his house because Jesus. they wanted to meet Creeps. him so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they called on his buzzer, 
if they could, you know, just meet him and get a picture with him. And he said he was going to take out a shotgun if they didn't leave. <laughs> well, good for him. <laughs> That's him right there. That's, That's the, the macho, macho man, man Randy Savage. He got oh, fat. Yeah. He came out with a rap album. What does he look like? He looks like uh, uh, Charlie Daniels. A little Charlie Daniels. Wow. There's a little Charlie Daniels there because he got fat. What happened? Dude, he's an older man. He and is. He, he, well, how old is Spider-Man the movie? Jimmy, you were in it. Well, that's already like 2001. Is it? That was like 2001. Years Holy fuck! That's time is going ago. by too fast. Stop the out. time. Slow down, time. <laughs> Maybe it was 2000. There are uh, tawdry rumors about Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, what? you mean that perhaps he's well, homo? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, he's like blacklisted from the WWE. That's why he's not in the why? Hall of Fame. He's never been back. Why is he blacklisted? Well, nobody's he's, ever... the only, he's the only guy that made it to old age. Yeah, well, no one's ever... <laughs> maybe the, Maybe they would like to show that the wrestlers <laughs> actually get gray. The Hulkster's still around. And uh, we know the Warrior is still around. The warriors. Warrior says. Warrior says. Do we have new Warrior says? No, we he hasn't done that put anything out. Uh, What's wrong with him? What's the tawdry thing? Well, yeah. there are rumors that right before he left uh, the WWF at the time, uh -oh. there might have been inappropriate actions made to uh, a certain executive's then uh, underage daughter who went on to... Ooh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. A certain very high-powered executive. Are that you kidding Anthony me? Anthony does an impression of. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Wait, Macho Man doesn't look like he him. made a move on Stephanie. Those are the rumors. Had and Jack Taylor made a move on her? I mean, if it's there a are ru rumors on both ends. If it's a rumor, you know, we could say that. Yes. Wow. Uh, that's wow. Ever, yeah. No one can prove it though. Nobody's ever publicly but said it. He's never very... been back, and he's banned. No. From... Yeah. He's not. He's wow. never spoken of. He's never. They didn't put out old Macho Man T-shirts. They didn't put out a I see nothing. Got, I see he got over Elizabeth. He just married an Elizabeth look-alike. <laughs> yeah. well, well, Elizabeth, if she got a little older. How is he not in the Hall of Fame? He's a pretty famous wrestler. Well, he's not just it. it. He's one of the greatest of all time. He is. He should be in, in the Hall of Fame. If he was banging Stephanie, that could be a problem. Big problem. Well, with getting yeah, into I think the he's Hall just trying fame. to make moves on her. Well, how, old was, how old was she? She would age. Yeah, she would probably I mean, 13 or, or 17? Probably... Uh, like 15, 16, I would think. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jordan writes, uh, Macho Man is now living in California with his life partner, Mr. Elizabeth. I, I didn't know that, Sam. Is that true? The Macho Man is not gay, and <laughs> Elizabeth, uh, they broke up a long time ago. She was hanging out with Lex Luger. What happened and then, to her? Then she died in Lex she Luger's died too. while she was hanging How out with Lex How did she die? Uh, I forgot about that. Her in Lex? Life? God, Elizabeth is dead. In real life? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're yes. all dead, Jimmy. Elizabeth, it's, a, it's a horrible business to get involved Elizabeth with. Elizabeth and Lex like to party, and apparently there was a Heath Ledger Situation. combo oh, <laughs> made for Elizabeth. Of, uh, and, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have this pill and that drink and that pill. And, but as if karma wasn't gotcha. a bitch, Lex Luger later had a severe stroke. He's, he's okay now, but he's a frail man in a shell of what he used to be. Can we see a brand new Lex Luger? Oh, we've seen uh, that picture. Yeah, that's I met that's him. That's fine. We and can was, do it again. But yeah, his yeah. hand was. He has to, when he signs. I met him once in Buffalo. And he was an animal. <laughs> if you have a Lex Luger wheelchair, when he signs uh, autographs, he has to hold his right hand with his left hand. Oh, that's oh, good. It's it's fuck. rough. Wow, what a bunch of fun. Look, look at this old picture. There he is, just... made in the USA, the narcissist, Lex Luger. <laughs> oh, <fucking> <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam's a faggot. <laughs> look at how muscular he used to be. Yeah, let's look. <laughs> oh, God. And what is the wrestling like is just a mess. That was... His, that was Mugshot? That was in the Elizabeth Just Died era. That oh, was really? when he was going through some very rough times. Tough times. Huh? Very tough times. Very tough times. Yeah. Well, but then he found God. Thank Did God. he? Where yep. was he? I don't know. You'd have to ask Lex. So he's in the last place you look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <That old> joke. <laughs> God's you. next to my I, keys. As they say, I hope so. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It, I, I don't know what comedian pointed that out, but it was very funny. They said it's always in the last place you look. Well, I hope so. Because <laughs> yeah. if you keep looking, you're... You're crazy. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Funny observation. <laughs> Are we done? Uh, Santa without... I want to see Santa yeah, Muscles. What happened yeah. with Santa with Muscles? Santa with Muscles. Oh, I saw the movie Santa poster, but... But what, we want clips? I think... If you can right. find a trailer... Let's see. Oh. 
I want to hear that? some. You know what's always good? What? Hulkster dialogue in a movie. What was great is he was wrestling for WCW at the time, and they were really promoting it as it was being filmed. And then. Oh, they never do that on those wrestling shows. By the time it came to release time, it was just unspoken Buried. of. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they just, just didn't talk yeah. about it. Best not be mentioned. Yeah. Santa with muscles. Kevin Fever Fever Entertainment. Entertainment. Wow. In the season of Santa, there are two kinds of people. Oh, no. The naughty. I've got 50 bucks for the first elf that brings me Santa Claus. Hulk Hogan is Blake Thorne, and he's... Blake Thorne. It's a porno name for Boogie Nights. <laughs> to make his getaway, he's going to make a mockery of the world's most beloved hero. Do you have a minute? Fox me, you little brat. That's oh, him. But sometimes... Fox. The only Howard's way brother. you can yeah. feel the spirit of Christmas... Where'd he go? is to be hit right over the When Clint lid. Howard is the lead in the movie, <laughs> there's a problem. What? It's showtime. Now, this confused oh, no. bad boy is oh, Santa. Oh, no. Like you've never seen him before. A bearded basher of bad guys. Uh -huh. Huh? A oh, hero oh, with a silly people. hat. Oh, the ball. A Robin Hood in red. <laughs> Who were those guys, anyway? Oh, they went from Mr. Frost. He's been clearing out the whole neighborhood, and no one knows why. Morris? And he's got three days to foil a band of evil scientists. You know, the handlebar must be taking the orphanage. Wait till Santa hears about this. Bagley Bailey Jr.? <laughs> we We're taking the years. orphanage. Santa, you slay me. At least it's an original idea. They want to take an orphanage oh, away, and someone has to Santa save it. with an attitude. <laughs> That's not original. <laughs> Around Christmas time. Santa gym. with some friends. Leon wouldn't want to be on. Santa with a mission. Oh, see, I wouldn't want to be. Kids are in so adorable. All, he's Santa with muscles. They can't start Christmas without me. Can they? There have been <laughs> many Santas. You're not Santa. You're dead. But there's only oh. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Hug them! Oh. Well, all you had to do was not. It is Garrett Morris. Muscles. That was Garrett Morris. You know why uh, Hulk took that role? Because he didn't have to wear the kerchief on his head to show he's not bald. Oh, because he has he the wore dumb the hat? Santa hat the whole fucking movie. It's in his contract. He must have a hat through everything. <laughs> yes. I'll play an ER doctor, Santa, or myself. <laughs> fucking you know? <laughs> or a spaceman. I want to play Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> you don't... So you don't look like Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> I want to be on the moon in a helmet. But Buzz was bald. No, he, not, then he wasn't, was he? I think he was. All right, fuck you. He wasn't 6'8". <laughs> so you're taller than the moon. <laughs> you know how jealous he has to be of The Rock's career? He was trying to have The Rock. He was trying to be The Rock. He wanted to leave wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And he couldn't he make could, it. couldn't do it. He's he terrible. Not, not he with that. Terrible. He tried Santa singing. Muscles. Yeah, he did try singing. He That's the worst it. movie title ever. He's not good. <laughs> Horrible. He's not. He really isn't Santa good. Muscles. That's a terrible. Who named that? <laughs> who made it? It just looks. It so sounds cheap. like a working title, and then they just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we made it. Change. We'll just no, it it sounds like the title of a bad review about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Santa with muscles. It's Santa with me, but he always has to have something on his head. Yes, of course he does. I want to play a baseball. But we got it. But you don't yeah, have... all right, something on your head. What, what, what would a it. movie reviewer say about Santa with muscles? How they would twist the muscles? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's muscles. A... Tw Santa's Santa with muscles. Pulled or should be pulled or. Yeah, yeah. Hulk Twisted. Hogan is an Olympic swimmer. Yes. <laughs> Just go, whoop, psh, shower cap on my head. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> All we can take rolls for. <laughs> Hulk Hogan is a I cowboy a in the old west. <laughs> right, exactly. Right, right Hulk. Yeah. You go astronaut. <laughs> yeah, you go well, astronaut. Buzz, buzz Even Aldrin. when you take that fucking helmet you thing off, the you still got your the head. skull cap on. That's true. Yes, Hulk Hogan is a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do it. Allah a... Akbar, brother. <laughs> He could be a miner, I believe. A miner's as helmet as all, with the all, light on. All his scenes are underground. Yeah, look at that. He's wearing oh. something on his head here. This what? is no holes barred. No holes barred. This is why this movie is so great is yeah. because they took promotion and, you know, mixing it into the wrestling show to a new level where he played a wrestler in the movie and they took his opponent from the movie and Tiny Zeus Lister. Uh huh. And Zeus became an actual wrestler. Wrestling. I remember that. Yes. yes. Zeus was the character in the movie, but he entered real life. He became a wrestler. Yes, he tag teamed. Oh, he had the fucked up eyes, right? Yes. Black guy Punching with the fucked up bricks. eyes, about 6'9. Yeah. Well, see, they're training for their wrestling match. 
Why is he punching bricks? Why is he punching glass? He had a scene in uh, Celebrity Rehab. Mm. Yeah. Sober House. This just... He showed up at the house kind of as one of the bad friends that shouldn't be really? around. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm good. I know like, this shit. It's kind of like Rocky IV, but for wrestling. Because like he was supposed <laughs> yes. to be like this unbeatable wrestler retard you know <laughs> like he just i think all he says in the entire movie is his name over and over Zeus. again <laughs> see Zeus. and then he went on to main event SummerSlam. he did kevin from connecticut nailed it uh the review santa with muscles just doesn't work out <laughs> that's what i was looking for what year is that movie like uh which one what year was paul hogan doing these movies uh, uh, late paul, 80s right did you just say well, paul I did yeah I, I stopped myself yeah, no, no holes part. That was 89. 89, okay. But he really made a push for it in, like, 91 to 94. Santa with Muscles was 96. Yeah, that was when he was on the, uh... Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Third. The Rock, though, has a legitimate $100 million movie career. Yeah. It's great. I love it. Although the fucking Tooth Fairy thing. Didn't it make money, though? It did. Who knows? They all make did money. Because what was the one that uh, the not. Hulk made with, with the tutu? That was Mr. Nanny. That, that did all Mr. right. Nanny? Mr. Mr. Nanny, Nanny did, right. did okay, right? Mr. Mm. Mr. Nanny and Suburban Commando are his two movies that did all right. Yikes. He was good in Rocky Three. We were talking about him last night. He was good as Thunderlips. Like, that's what he should have been doing, playing Thunder Lips. Thunderlips in the flesh, <laughs> baby. Yeah. He, he was got, good in that. He got fired Dude. for doing that movie. Why? Really? From wrestling. Who? Why? Hulk Hogan. Why? Because Vince McMahon's dad said that he should be touring. He shouldn't be out making movies. He should be wrestling. Oh, get out there and fucking... So Vince's so, dad was a prick, too? And so then bumps. Vince Jr. hired him back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 60 million Tooth Fairy made. Yeah. Plus 51 foreign. 51, 111 million dollars. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but that a lot of that money, you know, from from the old days when money was less. No, no, that's Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tooth Fairy. In yeah, January. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much did... I was uh, thinking that... I, I tapped out for a second. <laughs> I'm back. You think it was I gone with the wind? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we talked about Nanny. What happened? Yeah, what, what then we moved it? on to Tooth Fairy. Right, I right. liked Mr. Nanny because in the beginning <laughs> of the movie, he's dreaming of when he used to be a wrestler, oh, poor, and they use real wrestlers. And so cameos by Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Kamala, and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Dead and people. I got very excited. Wait, well, what, what's Brutus doing these days? <clears throat> Brutus is alive. All right. No way. He's Hulk Hogan's friend. He just whatever Hogan's doing, he just disciple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, just, he's, a, he's a disciple. He just brings Brutus with him. Can we hear the trailer for this awful movie. What is yeah. it? Yeah, that's Mr. Nanny. That. The toughest fight of all. Kids. Oh, all you yeah. have to do is protect them. I hate kids. Just when we get rid of the last man, he brings home a bodyguard. I don't want anything to happen to Sean. What could possibly happen? Got a skull in. They're small. I hope your Blue Cross is paid up. Oh, oh shit. Sassy Black Broad. Electromagnetic. God, this looks wired. awful. It's, it's good. Not the voltage. You can't kill him. It's not a good movie. <laughs> no. I can't believe this fearless giant is cowering because what? of two little innocent children. They would do anything to get rid George of George Jefferson's in this? Yes. Oops. He's his old wrestling manager. And flower. And just when he thought it couldn't get any worse. Real oh. trouble showed oh, up. Oh, shit. Like family I never had. <laughs> oh, no. See? Never David Johansson, star-studded. I, I was just about to say, this looks kids. like Home Alone, and then now, David Johansson pops up. He's got to bring them back. <laughs> he's got to save the kids. Save the kids. He's a oh, meddler. Mr. Nanny. I gotta admit, he's one tough mother. Say fucker, kid. I got a yeah. job to do, and I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. He making die. shitty movies. He is, such, always. he is such a bad actor. Don't tell anybody I did that. Well, that's not creepy. Presents. Him leaning into a child's bed <laughs> saying that. Saying, don't tell anybody I did that. Yes. Man, something's never changed. He's As sitting in the small desk. He was so... There's the tutu. There's the tutu. The Rock just stole his thunder. Mr. Manny. He's no more Mr. Nice He's at a little guy. tea party. Thank you. Oh, my God. And there is a fight scene in this movie, and yes, wrestling, 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 moves. wrestling moves. You got to see the Suburban Commando trailer before. Right. Well, we we got to. I mean, Suburban Com Ant's never seen Suburban Commando. I just want to see know. that. This is kid stuff. We got to do adult it. stuff, Sam. Oh, it's Suburban Commando. All right. All right. The Hulk, by the way, is a is a horrible actor. Like, <laughs> no, he's not. They could put him in a great movie. <laughs> he, he's just a bad, bad actor. He's just so bad. At, at least it. The Rock can kind of act, you right. know. 
They should put the Hulk in a movie about a lawyer or something. That's so wrong for him. <laughs> like, but like where he really has to act just to humiliate him. Oh, and put him opposite like a real good but actor. Philip Seymour Hoffman yes, yes. and Hulk Hogan in. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. This is uh, what is this a no? Suburban, Suburban Commando. Commando. Okay, this has got to be good. It's when new it line cinema. To intergalactic confrontation, <laughs> no one can beat Chef Ramsay. Yeah. What's his name? Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay. Why you cry? Relaxing. But now he's about to Chef. land in a place even he isn't prepared for. Acting Suburbia. school. <laughs> <laughs> The spaceship crash. How do you know which ones are the right ones? You have to squeeze it a bit. Doesn't know his own strength. I found a good one. Here, he's an alien. Yes. Of fighting. You got any idea what we're gonna do to you? Let me guess. You're gonna pound my face. What are you nuts? It's the nineties. We're gonna see. They have bizarre means of protection. He's never seen. Get on a skateboard. skateboard. Whoa, uh -oh. Look out. Oh, mom can stay on longer than that. Oh, shit, kid. Uh -oh. And enemies he's never known. I hate suburbia. Christopher Lloyd. So you'd better not fake him out. It must be a K7 force field. I'll break you out of there. Uh, it was a mine. There's mine. no force field. It was a mine, and he punched him. All right, look. Punching a mine. For Hulk Hogan, it's no game. It's the Undertaker. Oh. Wrestling move. Yeah, a lot of wrestling moves going on. Or do you just go around doing good like some kind of superhero? Oh, God. This is horrendous. You don't want to see it? I you don't want to see it. I was chosen today. Suburban Commando. You know what we Uh oh. Uh, there goes the cat. Just launched the cat across the street. He doesn't know his own strength. What's really great about that movie is that scene where he fell off the skateboard. Yeah. By the end, he can ride it. He can skateboard. I know. Right? Spoiler, sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> sorry. Hit the dump. Do you know it'd be great if, they, if if Hulk did a movie where all he did was like beat up Jews, <laughs> like for no reason. He just started making racist films. And he hates the Jews. Yeah, and he's a Klansman. String him up, and there's like nothing good natured in it at all. Can you imagine <laughs> trying? Horrible. He tried to do everything except wrestling. He opened a restaurant called Pasta Mania. No. <laughs> yes, in the Mall of America. Stop, that sounds like a joke. Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania. Did it last? No. <laughs> that failed. No. If the acting didn't work. The album didn't work. He just always has to go back to wrestling. The reality TV show. <laughs> reality is TV has got oh. his family left him. Oh, shit. His daughter. Oh, his no. daughter oh, didn't work the out. The singing didn't work. He just right. has to wrestle. Yeah. The Hulkster. Everything's <laughs> failed for the Hulkster. <laughs> Except wrestling. And now his joints really hurt. And he, he still doesn't has want to, to do it. still got to do the leg oh, drop. Christ. You think he wants to do anything but wrestle? Yes. Anything but anything wrestle. He would... Mick Foley has books. Yeah. Mick Foley has books. Why doesn't Hulk Hogan have a book? That's a hell of a read, no? He He's well, had a career. The WWE put out a Hulk Hogan book. So, you oh, know, good. Was, right. put a ghost writer and, you know. Right. Hogan was also... Oh, sorry. Hogan also said that he was originally offered the George Foreman grill, but he passed on it. The Hulk Hogan, oh my the God, Hulk Hogan no grill? Yeah. It would have been the Hulk Hogan thing. No one would have bought that. He came out with an energy drink. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, poor Hulk. He tried to start his own wrestling promotion with Jimmy Hart. That didn't work How's either. It, how, that's a no-brainer. That's what he <laughs> knows, and he can't even do work. that right. One wow. of the arguably the greatest wrestler ever, and he can't figure out how to make his <laughs> no. own wrestling league. Oh All he can do is wrestle for somebody else. He just can't be his own boss ever. <laughs> and he still has to cut his forehead, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Poor guy. It's been one humiliating now, venture after another. <laughs> now I feel bad for him. Oh, and there's The Rock talking about, yeah, I remember the wrestling days. They yeah. were good. They were good yeah. memories. They beg him to come back, and he just says, nah. Don't need that I shit. Mean, Vince is like, I'll give you a million dollars nah. for two million. minutes. Yeah. Ha, he'll blow me. Yeah, no, thank you. You think yeah. Vince would give him a million to wrestle one more match? He would uh, give him way, way more than a million. He would, give him, he would, he would probably yeah. give him $5 million to wrestle Easily. one match. Yeah. Why yeah. is he doing it for one? nothing. Because he's making like $10 the Rock million a movie need to at this do that. Point. Yeah. So, and not he's risking done. any injuries. He's done with it. These guys are always risking some kind of How old of is The Rock? What is he, like 35? Yeah, he's in his 30s. Yeah, so he probably. had like, what, a 10-year career? He was great. Yeah, about that. 
Yeah, he started oh. young. That's the way to do it, he man. He was great for Vince, man. Do you think yeah. he has the best wrestling career ever? Like the most ideal wrestling career ever for a wrestler? I like, mean, for a wrestler, because he got say. to leave. That's what I mean. Stone Cold probably, in terms of making an impact, has a better career. But I mean, yeah, he's got the ideal. Mm -hmm. The Rock is 35 and not no, dead. Not. Best wrestling career ever. That's he's not Stone Cold logic. He's, 30, he's 38. 38. So he 38. should never wrestle again because that's about when it get, gets bad for the Oh, yeah, guys. no wonder he won't. The age between the, the 40 year. If you're 40 something, you're on borrowed time. How that's old is Hogan. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so, so you bad. make it through your 40s. Are you, can you skate then? I think you skate. Yeah, unless unless something weird. The 40s is really the rough. <laughs> that's patch. tough for the wrestlers. Really rough. That's patch. the worst decade. Yeah. A lot of guys don't make it out of their 40s. Well, because oh. that's when they start dealing with the fact that they're starting to get out of shape. They're probably not going to wrestle again. And, oh, look at all these pills to make myself feel better. <laughs> For a guy that loves wrestling, you're, you're, you're the biggest fucking... Brick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of dead wrestlers in their 40s. That's but maybe true. if you want to get a job with them, you shouldn't be saying all that. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Lindsay know. Lohan in full frontal violent nudity. Now, what does that entail? Full frontal, violent I nudity. Think I, she gets punched in the cunt. <laughs> Tommy Morrison gives her a good sock in the clit. Tommy Morrison. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Yeah, the AIDS knuckles. Wow. One more thing about Hulk Hogan that uh, none of you knew. Uh, oh. David in Virginia. David? Hey, guys. Uh, hey. I heard Hulk Hogan uh, branched out in investing and bought some of Citadel stock. See, uh, he even bought see, the Citadel that stock didn't work out well, for him. So. How old is he? He's in his fifties. He's in his fifties, maybe. I would guess. <laughs> he's, you think he's? You think he's the most? Him and the Rock are the most famous. I would have to say he's more famous than the Rock. He's probably more. Yeah, I mean, just because he was a household name before, and I mean, Stone Cold's up there too. Yeah. Stone Cold is not Hulk no, Hogan. Uh, he's not Even I mean, for non-wrestlers, they might know Stone Cold, but they all everyone knows Hulk Hogan. Everybody knows Hulk Hogan and the Rock. And the Rock, you're right. What about Triple H? He's not. He's not. not he's in Blade Three. <laughs> That's true. Wrestling moves? Trinity. Wrestling moves? Oh, hell yeah. There's a fuckload of fucking uh, wrestling moves in that. Mm -hmm. The whole fight he has is mm -hmm. wrestling moves. Mm -hmm. You guys are forgetting John Cena in the Marine. Was that oh, good? Everybody was forgetting that. Is that a good boy? Don't forget I mean, Ted DiBiase Jr. in the Marine, too. <laughs> I preferred, <laughs> probably preferred it to the Marine, too. <laughs> oh, was man. he in that? No, Ted DiBiase Jr. Oh, was I wasn't there. kidding. Ted DiBiase what? Jr. was in that. There, there's yeah. a Marine too. With starring Ted DiBiase Instead the of second. John Cena? It's directed video, I oh, do believe. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cena's who is a the most of the show, by the way, so who is the most low grade wrestler to be in a movie? Like wow. did the Brooklyn Brawler ever do anything? <laughs> I don't know. Like the the Canyon was in something. Right? Canyon. Well yeah, that's right, because WCW did that awful ready to rumble movie with David Arquette. <laughs> And they threw a bunch of their jobbers in that movie. Yeah, yeah. jobbers. Yeah. I love that. The triple cage. Oh, uh, it's horrible.